Anne from Florida has a question. Is it good to drink bicarbonated soda, baking soda, for an alkaline body? We're going to get into that with this video. The very short answer is no. It can worsen the cancer even more. So let me get into more detail about that. Now, whether it's a layman or whether it's the medical doctor giving you anti-acids or it's a, a alternative doctor saying you need acid in the stomach, we all agree you need acid in the stomach to be able to digest. If there's no acid in the stomach, you're not going to digest. Hence the fact that we need to protect the acid in the stomach. Now, this is going to look and sound technical, but I'm going to break it down very easy to understand. If we talk about acidity, acid, and alkaline. Alkaline, very alkaline is 14, and that's drain cleaner. Very acid, extreme acid, that's a zero. It is hydrochloric acid. If you drink either one of these two, you'll die. Because... Too much acid will kill you. Too much alkaline will kill you. That's how simple it is. If it's balanced in the middle, it's not acid. It's not alkaline. It's balanced. Hence the, the fact that water is, is alkal alkaline. Okay? And you can drink water. So let's get in a little bit deeper. If I ask people how much acid must be in the stomach, some people still say, oh, it has to be alkaline above seven. Well, that's not right. It has to be acid. So if you think about how much acid must it be, in the comments, make a note of how much you thought it was. Just to be able to get an idea how people are, are, are informed about how much acid's in the stomach. Now for the surprise, it has to be 1.5, between 1 1.5 and a 3. That's how much acid must be. But let me sh express how close of acid it is. If you know what is battery acid, battery acid can burn a hole in your clothing. If you put battery acid on your tongue, it will burn a hole in your tongue. That is measured at a 1. Just shows you how much acid the stomach can handle. Now, you've, if I talk about battery acid... You normally think about these normal batteries, that the old battery just gets some battery acid. That is the acid I'm talking about. But let's look what happens if you take this baking soda, bicarbonated soda, and you put it on acid. Just look how it, what happens. See, it digests it. So it destroys the acid because you're adding something alkaline to the substance. So if you are going to drink this stuff, you're going to eliminate the acid. Now let's think about eliminating the acid. If you're going to be drinking it, what's going to happen to the stomach? It's not going to be acid, it's going to be alkaline. And why do we say it's going to contribute to cancer? Simply because the gallbladder is not going to activate to release bile, and we know bile digests the fats and if you do not get fats the mitochondria is not going to get the fats to stay healthy hence the fact you need to watch my, my first video of of the real reason for cancer stay to the end so you can get to that link the real reason for cancer i talk about the mitochondria so now do we say just do not do baking soda at all I personally will not do it, but for those that still have a belief in it, what you can do is you can rinse your mouth with that water. Just don't send it down to the stomach. Because sending it down to the stomach, you're not going to digest your, your food. Now, you're probably doing organic and you're doing all these good things for nutrition. But if you're going to eliminate the stomach acid with the baking soda, you're not going to digest, you're going to feel weak, and cancer is going to grow. Remember, that 
voltage we talk about in cancer, cancer being 20 millivolt at the healthy cells, 70 to 90 millivolt. If you haven't seen that, stay tuned to all my other videos if I talk about that. So you can rinse your mouth, but spit it out. So in the comments, tell me whether the doctors or who's telling you to drink this bicarbonate of soda, or is it just something you googled and you thought, okay, I should do it because cancer does not grow in an alkaline body. Now that said, so just, let me just reverse. We want to get the comments so we can also identify what, we, what other subjects you want us to talk about. But in the description, you'll find a link where you can fill in your own question and I can do a quick review of that strategy you are following or wanting to follow and you can just get some answers like that. So the next video, if you click to the, to the right, it's going to be from Patricia in Texas. She asked, is it true? Does cancer does not grow in an alkaline body? Now I'm going to shock you with this information. So make sure you tune to the next video. And also if you did not see the previous video, the real reason for cancer, click on that link and you can get it. So remember, do that subscribe the like as well as the bell notifications so you can be notified of all these news videos that's going to be released. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.